हाय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज संजय कुमार सेलेक्टर सब क्रिएटर एंड प्रोपार क्रिएटर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल सेलेक्टर सब व्हाट ऑल इट्स फीचर एंड हाउ टू मेक द बेस्ट यूज ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब टू सेव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो क्विकली लाइक इफ यू हैव एन इंस्टॉल जस्ट ओपन सेलेक्टर सब डॉट कॉम क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड फॉर क्रोम हियर so right now it's available for chrome very soon it will be available for all the browsers so don't worry and the functionality will be similar on across all the browsers so you don't worry about that click on add to chrome it's very simple and most secure plugin don't worry about it because it runs only on your local it doesn't save any user data or anything so once it is added it doesn't require any of the uh, your access of your browser or anything it just like required basic uh, permission so that is showing which is allowed by chrome only Uh, once you have added here you won't be able to see the extension icon here now this is a new chrome feature that they used to show only the extension icon not the like uh, actual plugin icon this is the default extension icon all the extension will be showing here whichever you want you can pin them to the so now you would be able to see i would request you like after installing this selector sub in your browser please restart once so let's restart the browser open it again open all the browser yes so now we have installed it successfully so after installing so now just open any of the website for whichever you want to uh, in whichever website you want to write the selectors so just right click any of the element for which you want to write the selector click on inspect and let's say we want to write it for this one here uh, if you're not like many a times you won't be able to see like the selectors up here you will be like worried about where is the selectors up so don't worry here on the left side when you will be seeing the dom there will be like couple of side bars here so here style computed list event list and all those and the selectors up will be the last step you can actually in fact expand this so you would be able to see the better view so here is the selectors up now whichever element will be inspected you just type here and you see the magic immediately it shows in the drop down told forward slash p and you when you enter as soon as you type square bracket it will show you and you just select that element and there you go now let me show you how quickly it will be for you this is done and all those values will be showing in uh, here in the drop down telling you that this is for x path and if you will be typing for css that will be for css it will be showing as css so just like css syntax is this type tag name then it will be showing the css here you can select this and now it will be showing whenever you will be typing the css syntax whenever you will be writing basically css selectors so in css selectors i would say uh, whenever you will start typing css selector it will suggest the css selector options so you can select this now if you want like simple class css selector like dot class we used to write right you just type dot here and there you go if it is a very long class where you had to remove all the spaces and then by dot so you just type dot it will do everything for you if you want with id if there will be id you just type hashtag it will tell you that css selector with id so simple it is right then uh, so likewise there there are like lot of other features like let's say for any element you want to uh, make uh, you want to write a following or sibling kind of xpath that also you can do it here very easily like for this for example for this link you want to write in parent xpath for this element with respect to this child so what you do double forward slash a you can make this xpath home we made it now we want xpath for this parent what you do you just inspect that element or let's say for this element you just do here parent or if uh, like there will be any parent it will tell you that what all parents or a uh, child or ancestor everything it will tell like this so now you have the parent for this one if you want to like let's say write following you want all the following so if there will be any following sibling or an ancestor it will tell you it's telling you that these are all the ancestor for this one okay so as simple as it now uh, there was a big time problem like many times what will happen uh, we don't know like when you will be typing xpath here 
for sure many times we used to miss a lot of elements right uh, let's say if we wrote an x bar something like uh, put x path some x path we are writing for this one let me quickly form an x path here okay now we copy this x path here paste it here here let's say this colon is missing now here is not telling you anything that what is missing is showing just 0 of 0 but when you will paste this value here in selector sub it will immediately tell you that this is invalid x path and colon is missing sorry semicolon is missing right if anything else will be missing it will tell you that what is missing like close square bracket is missing if you will type something wrong it will tell you what you have what it will suggest you what you should add so this way you would be able to learn a lot of things about writing best selectors what could be uh, what's wrong in the selectors which you cannot learn from here right if you type something wrong by mistakes it will tell you that what wrong you have done what is allowed after that what is not allowed after that right so this is how it will help you to learn more about the errors in while writing the selectors then comes like it was always a problem and challenge like and it was like impossible for uh, always that we can't write the we can't verify the selectors for pseudodom and none of the tool was ever supported pseudodoms but now it is possible what you have to do like let's say you have inspected this element and here you found that pseudo root open so here but let's say for this one this element we want to write the x path or css selector or whatever how do we do double forward slash let's say input and at the rate id or as we all know that css x part doesn't support uh pseudo rom or pseudo root so or vice versa pseudo rom doesn't support x part so let's say we directly write the css selector hashtag input you see nothing is happening here right what you do you have to just open selector so immediately it tells you that this is the this element the element which you have inspected is inside pseudo rom now what you do double forward slash in uh, sorry you can't write the x path for C element those which are inside pseudorom so you, it also suggests you that enter css selector only as x path doesn't support for pseudorom so what you have to do has you see it is matching and one matching css so it added added here one css selector css is equal to one attribute here so you know that this is the first matching node and it is showing here the matching node node here you can also like input in that format you want you can do it as easy it is and you can verify any of the x path like which are inside set root you can just uh, enter your css selector here first inspect that set root inside which you want to verify your css selector and then you can verify as simple as it is it also support iframe so let's say if any element is inside iframe you just inspect that element let's say this one open selector sir immediately it will tell you that this element is inside iframe and now here you can just start typing there you go as simple as it is if you don't know how to write in uh, selectors for svg elements xpath for svg element don't worry about that don't worry about the sint syntax if you don't remember you can learn from here from the selectors up you just inspect that element if it is svg or svg child element what you do you double forward slash you see it is giving you the correct syntax of uh, svg elements format like if you have inspected because double forward slash svg double forward slash path doesn't support you just type here and it will give you what it is so simple it is and it will make your task so easy so you can verify this one and this is incredible like pseudo dom support svg element iframe support then it supports uh, all kinds of technology like no matter whether your application like angular.io if your application is in angular or in any other technology it is developed it supports everything all those technologies so you just type start typing here and there you go so it basically supports everything if any issue or anything you face any problem feel free to reach out to me i'm always here and this time like i'm all uh, uh, 
just wanted to tell you that I'm working full time for community. I'm not working on any other thing. So I'm working full time on uh, this product and only on working for community. So you can feel free to reach out to me anytime here. Like I'm always live on Slack. You can join the Slack channel of Selectors. So if you have any feedback, any question or any query, you can ask me here. Uh, if there is any issue you can raise, uh, if any feedback or issue you found, you can raise it on Git here. You can for, uh, find all the tutorials and video links over here. Yeah, I mean, I would request you always check here this footer here in footer. All those important links are here. You will you will find all those important. I would request you all please uh, share it on social media and with the community so that they can uh, make the best use of selectors uh, and they can utilize their time to learn something else, whatever they say from here. And they can also improve their skills to learn about the selectors. One more feature actually here, uh, which I missed, which can save a lot of time for you. So let's say you are typing here and you have built an X path and you want to copy this. You, you need not to command A, command C. What you do, you just double click anywhere on this box and it will be copied or you click on this, this title here. So it will be copied, simple, <laughs> right? So yeah, there are like a lot of small, small things which can save a huge amount of time. And this is just the beginning I would say like this is just the trailer of selectors of a lot more feature on the pipeline which will be uh, releasing soon in 2.0 and uh, yes so these are all the links are really important I would request you if you find it useful and saves a lot of time don't forget to add the rating here you can add your rating here it, which will help others to know about this tool and what how useful it is here are the sponsors and this is absolutely free and I'm running it and uh, I'm running it with the community support with all of everyone of uh, all of your supports. So I would request you guys, uh, please donate here. You whatever uh, like a small amount you can donate, please donate here. It will be uh, really helpful for me. So uh, how you can do it? Like you can just click on that uh, donate button over there, or on the website there's a donate button here. So you click on this, it will take you to the on the Patreon page. So whatever you want it's up to you like five dollar ten dollar fifteen dollar per month whatever up to you whatever you want or if you want to make one time payment you can make it at paypal so it's just a request it's not a force <laughs> friend if you want you can donate or else like uh, selector sub is absolutely free so you can keep on using and uh, i would request you like if you like it please share it with the community again and with that thank you so much a lot more features on your way and if you have any question, any feedback, feel free to reach out to me on any platform like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You can bug me anywhere. You can drop a mail to this uh, ID, email ID here. And yeah, with that, thank you so much for your support and love. Keep sharing, keep learning. Thank you.